I'm Michael Liu, a relatively new faculty who joined the department uh, last year. And my research interest also is in computer vision, uh, particularly in understanding of video data. So for example, um, given a video input like this, uh, we are not only interested in uh, detecting humans appearing in the scene, but also in understanding what they are exactly doing. This person actually was taking a laptop while the other thieves were distracting the owner. So this is a group stealing scenario. And uh, my research interest has been on understanding, semantic level understanding of such video data. Here's another example. So this is a video taken from an unmanned aerial vehicle and um, we stabilized it. And as you can see, there are many kind of noise as well as real humans um, on the ground. And the goal was to recognize humans as well as uh, what they are exactly doing. Um, however, uh, my research interest is not kind of limited to recognition of um, events and ongoing activities from such passive cameras. But also I am interested in um, providing robots activity level situation awareness. We want to make the robots understand what other humans are doing to each other, as well as what other humans are doing to the robot. And in this particular scenario, uh, there are various types of human activities the robot needs to face. For example, the robot may kind of watch hum a human, a single person, performing an action like that, or a gesture. The robot may also observe um, two persons doing something like uh, fighting or punching each other uh, from its own camera. And most importantly, uh, the robot may observe some, uh, or some person is doing an activity targeting itself, like somebody punching the robot. And this is exactly how things will look like. And the main point here is that um, all these different types of videos um, appear simultaneously, and we need to be able to understand all these different types of activities. And each of these types of videos, understanding activities from these videos have been studied uh, separately. And our goal, objective, is to study a unified approach. Uh, by the way, um, well, even this video actually, the um, first person understanding of um, activities from robots view was not actually kind of studied uh, before I actually began that research. And um, in 2013, I kind of initiated this research. This is how things will look like if we see that from a robot's point of view. And as I actually do a kind of activities over there, like throwing, punching, we were able to understand these videos. And I have been continuing these, uh, on continuing um, studying methodologies which enables understanding of such videos, um, including end-to-end -end deep learning of human activities um, using convolutional and recurrent neural networks. We were not only interested in um, understanding videos as a whole chunk, but also in terms of mining or capturing um, sub-event, how the activity should be decomposed, uh, what types of events are in the scene, I mean, what, are, what types of the sub-events are present for each activity, and do the better recognition by understanding those things, well, what I have been doing recently. And as a result of all these um, different efforts, um, we were able to understand um, videos uh, which were taken, I mean, which were taken from a real robot's point of view, and there were many humans performing really different types of activities, human-robot interaction of approaching uh, humans doing some uh, things to themselves, like um, just waving or hugging or a human just pointing and so on. And we were able to really understand um, activities in these types of chaotic um, scenario. And here are some uh, quantitative results uh, showing that we were not, able, not only able to recognize activities from uh, um, each type of activities uh, in different scenarios, 
but also saying that our methodology is able to, uh, is able to recognize things reliably in many different data sets and many different scenarios. <laughs> And before kind of ending, uh, let me also talk about one thing, one research particular direction I have been recently studying. Um, it is not just about recognition now. So we actually want the robot to learn how to execute, how to perform activities rather than just uh, simply recognizing it. So given a video input like this, uh, tell um, kind of this describing how humans shake hands. We provide such data to the robot, and we want to make the robot represent how the shaking hands should be actually being performed, and take advantage of such representation to make itself perform human activity. Shaking hand, for example, by transferring human activity representation, executable human activity representation, to um, robot actually motion um, planning and execution. So that's pretty much about it and thank you very much. <laughs>